Hey guys, it's Lindsay plus Mike. We are here in Farmington Hills, Michigan, test driving our third dually. And today we are in a 2018 Chevy Silverado. We're gonna go test drive, I think, what, an identical vehicle? Or a 20, another 2018 something yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, a Ram 3500 tomorrow. What was that? A Ram 3500. Tomorrow. To, uh, and a 350 tomorrow. For now, there might be more. We're trying to get a bunch of them test driven so that we can kind of make a decision and get our truck because we have lumber to purchase, we have things to build, bunk beds, our bed, a composting toilet, walls for the shower, uh, maybe even a loft in the back of the camper, play loft. Yeah, lots of things to build. I feel like the truck keeps like adjusting the mirror for me. They're, they're, they're not where I left them. <laughs> Are you trying to be this helpful, truck? This truck has a mind of its own. Ah! Ah! <laughs> you guys, he didn't warn me. He's not letting me know his plans and everything beforehand. This guy's a wild maniac over here. You need a bigger parking lot. Ah! The brakes work really well. It's just, it's okay. They're nice and snappy. Oh my gosh, I do not feel like the, the brakes on the other vehicles were like that. We slammed on the brakes and, oh, and uh, that did not happen. <laughs> because you can like really get a good get up to speed and then like really slam on the brakes like you have to do and get a really good feel of like how good the brakes are because with any vehicle but especially a really really big vehicle this is a one ton vehicle which actually I think means that it pulls one ton yeah, and not weighs one ton Chevy, but my, okay but Honda you know Civic was a two ton vehicle <laughs> I think he's gonna do it again with me that time he's he tried to fake me out and I was like okay he's not gonna do it he's obviously doing something else and then he's like I'm on the brakes okay we're here for our fifth fifth dually test drive 2018 Ram 3500 we are stuck basically in the parking lot adjacent which is full of like vehicles and stuff is so we can't do the proper test drive we want to do because there's no gas there's no diesel and we're on a time frame we're on a time frame we just drove an hour to get here and we have an another appointment at 12 30 an hour away so we don't have time for them to like take it and fill it up with gas or anything like that and so basically our only option is to test drive it in this parking lot. So if, if we run out of gas, then, you know, we just walk back to our, the dealer. Just, I'm just pissed off about it, really. Because we just drove an hour to get here and just grumpy, I guess. Thoughts? Just trying to evaluate what I can while it actually will run. Since I have no idea when this is going to cut off. It's, it, the needle's on E. It can't go any further. Here we go, Mike's gonna test the brakes, so. And there's no handle for me to hold on to, really. So. Those were not like yesterday at all. Jeez. <laughs> that gave me a double chin. <laughs> that was a little better, I guess. Boy, you really have to press on this brake then.
Okay. How did it feel? Um, slamming it on. I mean, I guess that's just what I have to do with these trucks. Like you have to really slam the brakes. Cause the first time I did it a little bit more gingerly and it didn't, it like, it felt like it took a while to stop. But that time I slammed it. Yeah, okay. Check out where we just ended up on our test drive, you guys. It's cool, like railroad. It's Lake Huron. Cool. And that's the bridge to Canada to Sarnia. I can't. <laughs> it okay. stops. There goes my phone. <laughs> the brakes work. Pretty purple hair. I purpled it today. It's freshly purple. That's why my fingernails are all purple. <laughs> Maybe I should drive. You okay to drive? You too stressed? So guys, I guess that's where we'll end for tonight. We're on our way home right now. It's seven o'clock, so we'll get home, put our kids to bed, and Mike and I have some big, serious talking to do. Yep. <laughs> it's decision time. So, thanks for coming with us on all these test drives, guys, and hopefully the next time we see you, we will have a new truck to pull our camper all over the place. <laughs> This is a, a really big beginning for us. So thanks for coming with us and we'll see you next time. You guys, it's new truck day. We're on our way right now to go pick up our new 2018 Chevy Silverado 3500 HD dually pickup truck. We are excited and panicking all at the same time. Um, but I'm really excited to be able to check this big, big thing off of our to-do list um, and move on to the next project. Hey, oh, dually. there's it! There it is! There's a dually! It's a dually! Okay, here we go. Let's do this. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this is... I can't believe we're doing this. So <laughs> All right, I'll give you these. Oh, good. There's two. We were wondering. If there were, we were hoping there were two. The big moment. Like, I don't even know how to really describe how I'm feeling right now. Like, this is such a huge commitment, but it also represents the changes that we're making in our lives. Like, this is, this is the, you know, the, literally the vehicle for our future. It's going to enable us to tow the camper, which, you know, we hope is going to make a story interesting enough that you guys will want to follow us and um, come along on more adventures. Um, and it's the vehicle that we hope to use to build or renovate our next home. So it really represents a lot. It's a big leap of faith. It's terrifying and exhilarating and hard, really hard to put into words. <laughs> you guys have any Let's questions see that. <laughs> for me? Um. Uh, no, no questions, I don't think, but a big thank you. Yeah, a big You're thank you. You're very welcome. I'm excited to be a part of your guys' journey and to watch it. Hi, yeah. guys. Hi, guys. <laughs> big shout out to Sierra at Sellers, GM, Sellers Buick GMC yes. in Farmington Hills. Thank, <laughs> thank you so much. You're we really so welcome. appreciate it. And You're so welcome. You guys have my cell phone number, so if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a text or give me a call. All right. Awesome. Thank you very much. You're oh, very welcome. Congratulations.